things in tech you need to know today, Apple, Goog, AMZN, FB, TWTR, DOI. Apple CEO Tim Cook. Stephen Lamb, Reuters. Good morning. Here is the tech news you need to know this Friday. 1. Apple reported its Q1 earnings on Thursday, in which it announced that it sold fewer iPhones, but made more profits than ever, $20.1 billion, 14 billion pounds. It sold 77.3 million iPhones, a small decline of 0.9% on this time last year. It also sold 13.2 million iPads, up 1% year over year, and 5.1 million Macs, down 5% year. 2. Alphabet, Google's parent company, reported a $32.3 billion, £22.6 billion, revenue in its Q4 earnings, up 24%, but suffered a $3 billion, £2.1 billion, net loss due to a $9.9 billion, £6.9 billion, tax charge. Google missed analyst expectations. 3. Amazon beat Wall Street's expectations for its Q4 earnings, with $60.5 billion, £42.4 billion, in revenue, up 38%. The company also announced that, throughout 2017, it hired more than 130,000 new employees, bringing its total workforce to 566,000 worldwide. 4. Google announced that its Google Cloud business which comprises the G Suite and the Google Cloud platform, has grown massively over the last year. It now generates $1 billion, 700 million pounds, per quarter, but it's still smaller compared to Amazon's web services. 5. Brian Chesky, Airbnb's CEO, announced that the company won't go public in 2018. Airbnb also said that CFO Lawrence Tosi has stepped down to focus on his investment fund, while Belinda Johnson has become the firm's first chief operating officer. 6. YouTube TV is now available on Selectroco devices, for $35, £24.50, a month, as well as Apple TV. YouTube has also announced that it's bundling over 50 channels into the offer. 7. YouTube has announced that YouTube Go is now expanding to over 130 countries. The app is designed to consume less data and popularize YouTube in countries whose network infrastructure is still in development. 8. Instagram is rolling out an update to its app that will let users post stories with just text, without having to take a photo first. The feature, called Type Mode, is also adding new styles, colors, and backgrounds. 9. Nintendo has confirmed that a new subscription service, dubbed Switch Online, will launch in September for $3.99, £2.79, a month. The firm also announced that its next Mario Kart game, Mario Kart Tour, will launch on iOS and Android instead. 10. Twitter has debuted a full archive search API, which will allow access to all tweets ever published. The API will cost $99, £69, a month, and be available to all developers wishing to implement it in their applications.